Hello, this is Chemistry the Central Science, 11th edition. We're in chapter two on atoms, molecules, and ions, and these are the end of the question, end of the chapter questions. We are on question 49. Fill in the gaps in the table in the following table. All right, uh, we have got an ions here. So, so remember the net charge of a neutral atom is zero. All of the protons and all of the electrons are the same. So uh, in a neutral atom, whatever you'd see on the periodic table, those are all neutral. Same number of, electro of electrons and protons. If you have different numbers, you'll always have different numbers of electrons because the protons stay. If you change the number of protons, you have a different element. So the, the, elect the protons never move around. Electrons are totally move, movable. That's what electricity is. And so electrons move all the time. And if, if you were to take on an electron, steal it from someone, and take it upon yourself, your charge would go down by one because you'd have one extra electron, then you have protons. The, so the differing in charge is always either losing electrons and becoming positive or gaining electrons and becoming negative. All right, so in the case here of cobalt-59, it is three positive. All right, so let's think this through. If it's three positive, it must have three less electrons than protons. Well, we can find protons simply by going to the periodic table, and the periodic table tells you the atomic number. Uh, so either you have the atomic number or you have the symbol. The symbol will tell you the atomic number on the periodic table, or the periodic table, you just find the number, and the symbol is there. So either way, it's pretty good. So let's go through the first one. That's an easier one. You have the symbol already. You already know that it's an ion. And the rest we've done previously. You'll see, we'll do it again. I go to the periodic table, and I find that cobalt is number 27. That means that there are 27 protons. That's the definition of cobalt. Cobalt is anything that has 27 protons. Okay, if it doesn't have 27 protons, it's not cobalt. In a neutral atom, okay, in a neutral cobalt, there would also be 27 electrons. But in this case, you've got three less electrons. You have three less electrons, which means that it's 24. Okay, I know it's three less because I'm positive by three. Every one that I lose, I become positive. I lose one electron, I become positive one. I lose two electrons, I become positive two. Okay, it works exactly backwards. If I gain an electron, I become negative one. If I gain two electrons, I become negative two. All right, so this is a give me. If that is given there, we know that the, ne the net charge is three positive. All right, now we need to find the neutrons. And I find the neutrons with that number, the mass number. The mass number is the protons plus neutrons. Okay, so if I know the proton number, I simply subtract it. So minus 27 gives me 32 neutrons. All right, so far so good. Protons 34. I go to the periodic table, and when I find 34, I have selenium. Okay selenium. Now immediately I jump to electrons and see that I've got two extra electrons. That means it's negative by two. So my charge here has to be two minus. Selenium two minus. So it's an anion. It's, an, it's a negatively charged ion. Now I need to know what is the number that I put here. Okay, And that's going to be the mass number. The mass number is protons plus neutrons. Well, I'm given both of these numbers, 34 plus 46. And so I have 80. So this is selenium 80. And now I already know it's two negative, so it's two negative. Okay, so far so good. Next one is number 76. And 76 on the periodic table is osmium. And I already see that it's a 2 plus. That means I have two less electrons. Well, I look at my protons at 76. I have two less electrons. Okay, so that's 74. 
Now what's my mass number? I have to add 76 plus 116 and I get osmium 192. Okay, we're chugging along. Next one I see is 80. Periodic table says that that's mercury. Um, I have protons and neutrons. So 120 plus 80 is 200. So this is mercury 200. I look at protons and electrons and see that I have two less electrons. Okay, if I have two less electrons, I must have a charge of positive by two. So this is two plus, which is two plus. Hope that helps.